have something really fun planned, which is school stationery shopping. This is probably one of my favorite things to do in August. And right now I'm actually here at Delft. I came here by bike. It's like 30 minutes from my house, but it's totally worth it because the city is beautiful. And also here they have like those big stationery shops. And that's exactly where I'm gonna go now. Also um, that shop, they have quite a lot of like different themes. They're all really cute for boys and girls. It doesn't matter. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Also because I'm gonna go to middle school, I need to buy a few extra things. I can't wait. Now, let's just go in. Is everyone ready? Then let's go. This is exciting. Hi guys, it's Emily Loap. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am beyond excited because I'm going to do a back to school stationary haul. Since this year I'll be going to middle school, I'm gonna have more subjects like French, Latin, Greek. That's why I also had to buy more stationery. Okay guys, guess what I just did? You probably already know, but I just changed location because I just can't wait too hot. This is actually the perfect place, so let's just begin. Okay, so let's start from the basics. So first things first, I have this Fabienne Chapot pink like map slash folder. Inside it's also pink and then it also has 23 rings. It's really cool to like put your works and tests into this because it's really handy. And then coming right with it, I have some colorful dividers. I'm pretty sure I have like eight or ten of these. These are really handy to divide and categorize your work. That's why they're also called dividers. <laughs> also, both these things were from last year. Since they were in pretty good condition, I decided to reuse them. Right, so that goes into the we've already seen that pile. Um, next up, we're probably gonna show you guys something new that I bought this year. I have these A5 notebooks. These are really cool to like take some notes. I think I'll be using these to learn Latin, French, or Greek because these are quite thin and they're really cool to use. So I have two purple ones. Um, these say if you can dream it, you can do it. And then you also have some really cool beige, like creamy colored butterflies here. I love these. And then I also have three girl boss notebooks. They're so cool. First, I wanted all my stationery to be like this theme so with like this hacky green and also some hot pink writing but then I was kind of like well you know what I think I'm just gonna buy everything that's cute so that's what I ended up doing so that's why everything is not the same but it does match in some kind of way if you get what I mean and then last but not least I also have this super cool notebook that says my jewelry this is like the special edition and then it also has some gold writing there um, also this creamy slash beige background and some hot pink writing I love this. I am so, so glad with this purchase that goes into the pile. Okay, I know what's next. Unfortunately, I already like unboxed everything. Well, if you can actually call it that, I already took off the plastic of everything. I'm sorry, guys. I'm deeply sorry. I, I just, I couldn't stand it. It was just there and like looking at me. I just had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Next, I have three of these notebooks for my algebra. I'm finally gonna have algebra this year. I'm so excited. Math is one of my favorite subjects. That's why I am very, very, very excited. So these are also like this hacky green color. They have these squares for one times one centimeter. That was a very important like thing. They had to be one times one. Uh, let me see. Next, I actually have a bullet journal. As you can see, I've already used it. Like I have quite a lot of things written here. Um, it's all like with markers and stuff, but this is actually my my ballet diary here I basically write all my ballet corrections some things that I want to make better some things that I want to improve in I also have some hand letterings here some drawings basically like this creative slash inspirational place where I just jot down some ideas I just use it after like a ballet class I just want to scribble something in here I just use this it's really cool also I just like to look back at it and see what my corrections were um, you get what I mean this is just something that it's really personal. It really helps me because I can just look at what I need to get better in, what I want to improve, and this is a really helpful thing for myself. Next up, I actually have something really aesthetic slash satisfying slash like ASMR. Okay, these are basically some Stabilo markers. I just bought this yellow yesterday, and now I have the complete collection. I'm in love with these colors. Okay, now I want to show you guys something big. It's basically this, it's like this whole folder dedicated for homework because if you open it, you have quite a lot of like different divided areas where you can categorize your homework first one is gonna be for dye 
much. The second one's gonna be for English, for French, etc. Really handy because then your papers don't really get like folded and squashed. It's also really cool that you can just put everything here and then you can easily take it home and you know that it's gonna be safe. Last year I had a plastic one like this, but no, there's no way I'm doing that again. It was this pink and the other side was almost white because of the sun, but hopefully that won't happen to this one because it's so beautiful. I totally love the color combination because it's rose gold stars and like cute little doodles on a brown background. Like this is amazing. So that's that. These are basically some nail cards that are textile. You could just stick them onto your books, but I'm gonna show you. So basically you need to stick them on some textile book covers and these are all super cute. They're like pink with some yellow, a bit of green, some blue, and also some neon orange. Although, like, the drawings are a bit hippie and, like, a bit freaky, but I really like it. Like, it's weird. Like, I really like it, though. And then these are the covers that I'm gonna stick them onto. So I have this super cool cover with watermelons on top. These are great to use for books that are A4 and also A5. Like, these are stretchy, so that's great. I like using these better than just wrapping paper for your books because they also come with bookmarks. Actually, not all of them, like this one does, but these don't, for example, but that's fine. So then I also have two of these, like, gradient. They give me a tie-dye feeling. So then I have two of these. And then next, I also have this limited and special edition O'Neill one. It basically basically has these super cool like plant drawings and also some anil writing on it. Next I also have this hot pink one. It's actually a bit lighter than hot pink. Then I also have this really light like baby pink one with some white hearts. I'm in love with it. It's so cute. I also have this one which is like a baby pink but then just a teeny teeny bit darker so I love it. They're also really soft. Like that's what I like the best how they're really soft and like stretchy and elastic. It's just a nice like way to customize your books. And then I also have this one. It's a bit Bit more detailed. So this one basically has quite a few cool drawings on it and then it also has some pastel colors. These are so cool. They give me some really aesthetic vibes. And then I also have this one with basically some jaguars on it. I also have this like more neon pink one. Also this one reminds me of like this hot pink but then it's a teeny bit lighter and like more dusty if that makes sense. My favorite color is probably this one because it's like this piggy slash like a really light baby pink and peach color. I love it. It's just so cool. And then, last but not least, I also have this one. All of these pink ones, they have some similar tones. You can see that it was once said, but they're also not like the same. Also, I said that I was gonna learn French, Latin, and Greek, and that's why I also bought quite a lot of dictionaries. Like, it's actually a bit weird. The situation got weird. I have this list where I have everything that I need to buy, and I saw there that I needed to buy two dictionaries. One that is from Dutch to English and another one that's from English to Dutch and I was like wait but I know English like I'm not actually sure whether I needed to buy the dictionaries but just in case to you know stop any confusion and just not make like an awkward situation I decided to buy them this one is from English to Dutch and this one is from Dutch to English they're really good quality like not just any random dictionary but a really good quality dictionary and I also really like how it's gold with red. I know that it doesn't really matter for a dictionary, but still, you know, I like when good dictionaries have a good hardcover. And then I also have this dictionary. This is two in one. This is basically from French to Dutch and from Dutch to French. And then last but not least, I also have this orange Dutch dictionary. This is plain Dutch, really plain and simple and both at the same time. This one does have a soft cover though, so I have to be careful because I don't like it being like all over the place and folded. So those were the dictionaries. Also, I don't need a dictionary for Greek and Latin because that's just gonna be at school. Meet Casio FX slash 82 MS. Actually, I'm really happy with this purchase. This is a great calculator. So it's really big. It's bigger than my normal calculator. Let me just show you the difference. So this is my old calculator. The difference is big. Like, let's just face it. First of all, this one is way smaller. This one is way bigger. This one has like four times more buttons and it's really handy. In the last few days, I've just been like sitting on my calculator. I've just been typing in different things. I've just been trying to see how it works. And then it also comes with this protective case that this one didn't have at all. Okay, next, I also have some drawing paper. This was probably the hardest thing to find. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it took me one week to find this. Okay, also from that same store, I also bought these L-shaped folders. They're just transparent and they're really handy. Then I also have 
four A4 notebooks. These are so pretty. I have this one. It's like this teal background, but then a bit lighter. I also have these two tie-dye notebooks. And then last but not least, I also have this notebook with a white background, some golden polka dots. It's really basic, but I love it. These are so pretty. I can't wait to use them. Next, I also have this folder for paper. Here you basically have two holes. Like you can just put paper in here, give it to the teacher and you're done. Okay, so there are some very little items that I have left to show you. These are actually just normal Apple plugs. Next, I also have this amazing ruler. It's so cool. This is my third year I'll be using this ruler. Then, my pencil case. This is also the third year I'm gonna use this. So, first thing I have are these refillers for a pen, some gold scissors, some butterfly washi tape, two squishies for when I'm stressing. Then, I also have these three fruit rubbers that I never use. I also have the real Stadler rubber that I use. A small 15 centimeter ruler, a mechanical pencil, a pencil sharpener, a USB stick with eight gigabytes, the insides of a mechanical pencil, pen eraser, but just not any pen, but like an ink pen. So this year we only need pencils. The last thing, cute and aesthetic sticky notes. I've been using these for pretty much the whole year and I'm happy to use them for another year. I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I love doing school supply haul videos. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified each time I will post a new video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Also, quick disclaimer, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get my braces soon. Stay tuned.